Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, in this tutorial we're gonna do this stitch. I think it's, well, it looks a little bit like the, the crunch stitch, but it's, uh, well, a little bit different. But, the, well, the stitches are the same, half double crochet and slip stitch. But I think it's a beautiful stitch to do blankets, anything you like. It's reversible. And look at these edges, they're so nice and, uh, and straight, the, the edges, they're really nice. And it's very easy to do this, uh, this stitch, it's amazingly easy. Okay, this stitch works with multiples of 2, so I chain here 12, and I'm using 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Maybe it's too big for this, but I just want to make sure that you can see the, what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to skip the first chain, which is this one. And in the next chain, the second chain from the hook, we're going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to do a slip stitch. And then the next one, we're going to move to the next chain and we're going to do a half double crochet. The next stitch, <coughs> we're going to do a slip stitch and we're going to alternate like this. The next stitch, it's half double crochet. We're going to do like this until we reach the end. And I should have cut my fingernails. The next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch. Well, the first row is not easy, you don't have much material to grab on. So the next stitch, it's going to be a half double crochet. The next stitch it's slip stitch. And we're going to do like this until the end. Move to the next stitch or chain and you're going to do a half double crochet. The next stitch it's slip stitch. <coughs> okay. The next stitch, it's half double crochet. We're always gonna finish with uh, with a slip stitch. So the next, the last chain is gonna be a slip stitch. We started with a slip stitch and we're gonna finish with the slip stitch. And now we're gonna chain one. We're always gonna chain one at the end. So the first stitch, it's here. We're gonna start with a slip stitch. It's, it's just one row repeat. So you're gonna do a slip stitch, then the next stitch it's half double crochet. And you're gonna alternate like this. Next stitch it's slip stitch. Because you're gonna put the you're gonna do the slip stitch on top of the slip stitch and the half double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. So the next it's half double crochet, the next stitch it's slip stitch, next stitch it's half double crochet and so on. It's really easy this stitch. Next one is slip stitch, move to the next stitch it's half double crochet, okay, next stitch is slip stitch, yeah, first row it's not easy. And especially when you have long fingernails. Okay, yarn over the hook, next stitch it's half double crochet. The next stitch, which is this one here, it's a slip stitch. And sometimes this one is gonna be the stubborn one. Okay come out. Okay. Alright, got it. And again, you're gonna chain one and you start again. The first stitch is here, you're gonna do a slip stitch. Next stitch is half double crochet. Next one is slip stitch. Next one it's half double crochet. You're always going to put a double, uh, half double crochet on top of the half double crochet from the previous row and the slip stitch on top of the 
slip stitch from the previous row and you're gonna do like this the next one is half double crochet next one it's slip stitch and so on it's very easy and it's gonna well it looks like uh, the crunch stitch but the crunch stitch you some rows you're gonna have to chain uh, <coughs> at the end one uh, one chain then the next row you're gonna chain two you're gonna start with the slip slip stitch or half double crochet and so on with this one it's just the same you chain one you turn your work and you go again the first stitch you do slip stitch next one it's half double crochet next one it's slip stitch next one it's half double crochet and so on it's very easy you will know the the difference between a half double crochet and this slip stitch in case you don't remember which one you supposed to do and you do like this on and on slip stitch half double crochet in the next stitch and you finish with the slip stitch in the last stitch chain one and here you go again I'm gonna do this row with you and then I will stop so the first stitch is here so we're gonna do slip stitch then the next one it's half double crochet because this is a half double crochet from the previous row next one is slip stitch and so on it's very easy and it looks so nice especially if you want to do a blanket you can do anything with with this stitch especially if it's re because it's reversible half double crochet slip stitch next is half double crochet and you always finish with a slip stitch at the end chain one and so on it's like this it's really nice yeah it's uh, it's very easy to do you can watch tv you can have a conversation with someone <coughs> And not worry about skipping, adding, whatever. But look at this, uh, these edges. They're really nice, straight. So for a blanket, scarf, whatever you want to do, I think this is really nice. I don't think you need to put any edges unless you want to put some edges, for example, if you have a, a blanket, you know. But, you know, try this, uh, this uh, stitch. It's really nice. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.